Hello everyone, it's glad to see you again. Today I'm going to introduce a Maxter hard drive. Okay, but before we start, I'd like to tell you that the Maxter hard drive is no longer on the market anymore. You cannot buy any Maxter new drive nowadays. It's already acquired by Seagate. Okay, so now it's a little introduction about Maxter. So Maxter was founded in 1982 and acquired by Seagate Technology in 2006. It was an American manufacturer of computer hard drives. It was the third largest in the world and immediately prior to the acquisition. It now operates as a subsidiary of the Seagate drive. And the Maxter has two product lines, server and desktop market. So it concentrates, it focuses on the disk capacity when the disk, disk space is speed for desktops. Now we have a picture of the Maxter drive. For you to see it's uh, 60 gigas with, uh, with the rotation speed, 7200 RPM. So how do we identify the Maxter hard drive? How do we identify the model? So the model number is composed by series, capacity and interface, and plus number of platters and heads. So for example, this drive, 6Y200M00, 6500A, so we can separate the former seven numbers plus letters into four parts. Each part can tell us different information. So 6Y means the Diamond Max plus 9 series. So actually 6Y is a series. It stands for series, and 200, 200 means the capacity is 200 gigas. And M is the speed, so it's Ultra HCA 150 with 8 megas cache. And zero, it represents number of head before DM9 series. So all DM9 is 80 gigas with single platter. So here we have some examples of different numbers and uh, letters, what they mean. So for example, 2R, that means Fireball 531DX series, and 2F, it means Fireball 3 series. Okay, so 5T means Diamond Max Plus 60 series. So these are just numbers for you to, to see, you can understand, you can study yourself. It is not a problem. And also some numbers for the speed. So D means Ultra ATS 33 and U means Ultra ATS 66. Okay. H means Ultra ATS 100 and 2 megas cache. And blah 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 and JLP. Okay. But just remember, so L and P and M, they have the cache with the, they also use a fluid dynamic bearing motor. So jumper setting. So for master drive, you must set a jumper. So you must have a jumper to make it work. To make it work well. So how does the jumper is related with the control chip? So actually, controller is so divided into the controller is divided into DSP and PKR. So PKR and DSP. So for DSP, is actually includes previous before 40 and some of 40 series. So here's some pictures for you. So master mode is like these, safe mode like these, and after DSP there will be the PKR. So PKR will be all the series uh, after 40 series, which also includes some of the 40 series. So you can see it's slightly different with the master mode and safe mode. Okay, compatibility. Um, so we have code number. It's a number and model number you can see on the sticker. So for example, here we have pictures. The code number will be RAMC1TUO. So SN, okay, and the model number. So if you're going to find a donor firmware, you have to find a firmware with same code number, same model number, and same first of three of SN number. So and this picture suggests if you're going to find a donor drive for this drive, this picture's drive, the parameter should, should be same as follow. So model has at least should be four 
R060L and the code has to include RMC1TU0 and SA has to at least be R2S. So the rest of the, the letters can be different, but R2S must be the same. So if you're going to find a, a, a donor PCB or a donor head, okay, you're just looking for the same thing, same as the firmware compatibility. It's okay. Okay, so this tells you how to find a, a donors for the master drive. Okay, that's all for master drive introduction. Thank you.